I just want to talk about some substandard electrics. Um, my cigarette lighter started smoking yesterday, and it was this. Uh, as you can see, the boards burn out. Um, the first thing I want to say is this is regulated at 6.3 amps, 12 volts, 6.3 amps. Now I do run a cool box. Um, now this one's normally back to front. This one's normally the lead where it plugs into that with that one on the back for USB sockets in the back. But since we moved it from the car, it was actually the other way around. Um, now, the first thing you're going to go, oh yeah, but you've obviously put too much power in. This is 48 watts. 48 watts at 2... Um, what's it? 48 watts at 12 volts comes out at 4 amps. So that's still 2.5 amps under the rating of this. It's not, it doesn't have any problems with this one whatsoever. This one's actually 10 amps. So it's pretty obvious that this one's a better built one. But also the LEDs will actually tell you how much load's been drawn off it, if it's too much or whatever, because it will go low when it's sort of getting maxed out. So uh, just be aware. But just check the labels. Try and focus on that. Just check the labels, because they'll tell you what the amperage is. And if you see, 10 amps max. So the way to double check it is to go... Um, well, you can either go online or basically look for the apps. And if you look for an app, just do what W A T S two amps A M P S, and you'll get a conversion uh, tool, a conversion amp, a conversion um, app for your phone, which will come in handy later anyway. Um, because it's something handy to have on your phone because you never know when you actually want to just double check your ratings because obviously when I start thinking solar panels I've got to start thinking what am I going to run it on it cool box laptop TV and I need to know what the combined um, usage is of those units to work out how big a solar panel is I need but also do I want a solar panel just for now and again or being able to actually run all three and actually gathering more energy for during the night when there's no power available through the solar system so you've got to sit and weigh all this up for long term but just just wanted to do a bit of a health and safety thing related to these because you see that co was catching fire burning out but the other problem you've got is in this car um this is permanently on as you can see take the keys out this is still on that's something i'm not very keen on i'll probably rewire that to be honest um because i could have left that overnight now i may have had a small electrical fire we'll have to wait well i say wait and see i don't want to wait and see um but i'm always one for preventative uh maintenance so in future i'm going to be very wary about getting some of these things with cheap imports um you can tell inside that they're cheap cheap and nasty but at the same time i wasn't really expecting it to catch fire <laughs> right thanks for watching yeah.